is now my honor to present our guest speaker, Darlene Lucio Jordan, a graduate of the Ursline class of 1985. Mrs. Jordan obtained her JD at Suffolk University and has worked as a prosecutor, assistant district attorney, and assistant attorney general. She is executive director of the Gerald R. Jordan Foundation, is active in many charitable organizations, and is a member of the Fordham University Board of Trustees. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Jordan back to Earthline Academy. Good afternoon. It is a privilege to be here with you today to celebrate you and commemorate the culmination of an academic career at Ursuline Academy. Thank you to Roseanne Whiting and the entire Ursuline family for welcoming me home and allowing me to share this special day with all of you. I am truly blessed. Destiny. Destiny is a predetermined or inevitable cause of events. I know it's a very warm day and I'm the only thing standing in your way to celebrate with your friends and family. So I will be try I'll try to be brief. Our destiny is not to melt in the sun today. I was destined to go to Ursuline. My parents always stressed and impressed the value of an education on my sister and me. That, <clears throat> excuse me, that and the fact that the school is literally a block from my house and my mother wouldn't drive in this town. Just kidding about the proximity. My parents would have driven me great distances to attend Ursuline. I just was lucky that it was located at the end of our street. My parents would and did sacrifice, just like all of your parents and family members have sacrificed, so that we all could receive the education that a young woman receives here at Ursuline. I will be forever thankful to my parents for recognizing the impact this type of education could have on my life. It has been a great gift. I was destined to be an attorney. My father was an attorney, and I was fascinated to go to his office and see him in action. I never even thought of being anything else. I've already used the word destiny a few times in a very very short time, and I'm certain I will use it again, but destiny is a funny thing. The fact that I wanted to pursue the study of law was always a bit of a joke in my family. You see, as a teenager, I was afraid to call 411 for a phone number. You ladies probably don't even know that information at one point actually required you to speak to a stranger on the other end of the telephone. I really should have grown up in your era where everything is automated. I was so timid about that mystery operator that I would beg my younger sister to make the call for me and rather deal with her teasing than ask someone who could not see me for a phone number. This shyness became a dilemma for me as I continued on my chosen path. How was I ever going to be able to stand in front of a judge and a jury? You see, my trip down the legal road led me not to a corporate setting, but right to the heart of the criminal justice system, first as an assistant district attorney and then as an assistant attorney general. As a matter of fact, I was assigned to run my own court as a sole prosecutor before I'd even found out if I passed the bar exam. Talk about scary. That's when I remember that the core tenets that were instilled in me at Ursuline would carry me through, those of self-confidence and independence. I remembered at Ursuline, I was taught to believe in myself. I was taught to trust my instincts. I was taught that with preparedness and hard work, you could and would succeed. Being an attorney did force me outside of my comfort zone, even though I knew it was my destiny. I relied and called upon all the skills that were taught to me here at Ursuline. A lot of people think that the bulk of their career learning will happen while at college, but I want to tell you that that's not always the case and that you are different. You have the benefit of being an Ursuline alum, and that can never be underestimated. You have built the foundation for whatever your individual path and destiny may be. It is a strong foundation, and you may now build upon this any career or life journey and be confident that you will be able to sustain it because you have had the proper training. My destiny changed when I met my husband and my career track curved. I embarked on a career that was truly shocking to my family, that of charitable work and board service. This is when I truly found my voice. No one would have guessed that I could call friends, acquaintances, and yes, even strangers, to ask them to support a cause or a mission. 
I learned that you can do anything if you truly believe and follow your passions. This newly acquired skill opened unexpected doors for me and led me down a new road. An exciting adventure that I never could have imagined while sitting in Mr. O'Connor's class in accounting at Ursuline now became my destiny. I became a political fundraiser and served as national finance chair for both of Governor Romney's presidential campaigns. In this role, I called not only strangers, but some of the most influential people in the country, CEOs, congressmen, governors, and senators. I organized the largest political fundraiser in the history of the state of Florida, even surpassing those of incumbent presidents. It was a thrilling, exhausting, and fulfilling ride. In the end, I was successful, especially on the telephone, and was the largest female fundraiser in the country. You see, I thought I knew my destiny the day I received my diploma from Ursuline. And in a way, I did, and you all do. Destiny is not always a destination, but rather a path to becoming your best self. Please don't be afraid if that path changes. You are equipped to handle any curve or bump in the road. As you leave here today, pursue your dreams with all the passion and energy you can muster. Remember that life may redirect your path, and you'll be constantly forced to reevaluate your route. As Ellen DeGeneres said, stay true to yourself. Never follow someone else's path, unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path. <laughs> then by all means, you should take that path. <laughs> it will not always be smooth, and there may be some disappointments, but I truly believe that this means you are living an authentic life. Remember, you are adaptable, and if you stay true to yourself, you will succeed. I also want to stress to you to maintain the friendships that you have formed here. Look around today at your Ursuline sisters. You are a unique sorority, a special network of women who have spent the past four or six years as cheerleaders for one another. The bonds you have made here will only grow stronger as you experience all that life has to offer. I have a saying, and it says, some friends will last, others may leave, but those found at Ursuline are true friends indeed. Friends I made while here are still some of my best friends. We may all live in different places and not get to see each other often or speak often, but we are what you would call foxhole friends. Those friends you would call no matter what, an Ursuline friend. For over 30 years, we've seen each other through college, career promotions, disappointments, marriages, divorces, births, and deaths. The bumps and curves in our path to our own destiny have not derailed, derailed us because we've always had an Ursuline sister to rely upon. Remember, <coughs> there's strength in the women bond, and as Madeline Albright said, there is a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. So remember, <laughs> as you leave here today, having spent four or six years with women, remember the value of women and help other women along your journey. Finally, you all know and already live the mission of Ursuline. As you prepare for the next chapter of your life, remember the traditions and values of St. Angela Marici. Rely on your education. Trust what you have learned and continue to learn. As your world continues to expand, remember to respect the uniqueness of the individual. Continue to maintain balance in your life. Support your community. Remember to lead when oftentimes it may be easier to just follow. Continue to live your life in the spirit of giving, serviam. Enjoy your journey, cherish it, relish all that life has to offer, and remember what you think may be your final destiny may very well be just the beginning of a new and exciting destiny. Congratulations. I am so happy to welcome you very shortly to the, very, to, to the ranks of a very special group of women, that of Ursuline alumni.